Hello, and welcome to Ag Week 2021. This year, in honor of our 10th anniversary, we are highlighting innovative advancements, ideas, and individuals that have contributed to agriculture over the past 10 years in a series of five interviews. While we wish that these speakers could be with us on campus celebrating all that Purdue has to offer, we are thankful for their contributions to this year's Ag Week. So, without further ado, here are our presidential dialogues. Hello, and welcome to Ag Week 2021. Today we are joined by Dr. Christine Wilson, the Associate Dean of Academic Programs here at Purdue Agriculture. Dr. Wilson, I'd like to thank you for coming on today. Why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself and your background. Thanks, Bennett. Uh, thanks for having me uh, as part of Purdue Ag Week. I'm really excited about the week. Uh, my background, I grew up in western Kansas on a diversified uh, crop and livestock farm. I'm a graduate of Kansas State University with degrees in agribusiness and, and agricultural economics. My very first uh, faculty position was actually here at Purdue University from 2001 through 2008. I was a faculty member in the Department of Agricultural Economics and that's my background. Then I had an opportunity to go back to my alma mater, Kansas State University, and I was there for over 11 years as an assistant dean and also a faculty member in the Department of Agricultural Economics there. And then I had the opportunity last February, uh, February 2020, to return to Purdue. So that's a little bit about me. What about Purdue agriculture specifically intrigued you to return to West Lafayette? You know, I loved my time as a faculty member here uh, in the College of Agriculture. Uh, the opportunity to return to one of the best colleges of, of agriculture is very, very appealing. The opportunity to work with the leadership team from the College of Agriculture with Dean Plout and the department heads and other leaders in the college to really make a difference for our students and to help educate the next generation of our agricultural leaders um, and, and to be on the cutting, to work with faculty on the cutting edge in their research and, and, and teaching and to be part of that was extremely appealing to me. There aren't a lot of places that I would have left my alma mater for. Purdue was definitely at the top of my list. So I'm excited to, excited to be back. Well, that's good. So Ag Week is celebrating our 10th anniversary this year, and we're highlighting innovative ideas in agriculture that have kind of reshaped the industry over the past 10 years. In your mind, what advancements do you think were the most important or the most influential? I think we've had a lot of uh, in innovative um, approaches and measures pretty much in all of the areas, but when we think about the plant sciences area, the data analytics, the precision agriculture, and the way that we've been able to um, impact food production and plant growth, um, as well as the use of inputs to improve production, um, uh, food preferences and, and understanding the consumer consumer desires and needs and the innovative approaches to um, uh, to feeding the world and, and, and meeting the demand um, uh, from consumers just across the board um, you know and when we think about the, the plant sciences area and um, the biomedical area and, and the engineering area, certainly there's been important advancements and innovations in those as well. Awesome. So as you previously mentioned, from 2001 to 2008, you were here at the College of Ag in the Ag Econ Department. Um, what has changed here in Purdue Ag since your previous time here at Purdue? Well, clearly, when, when you return to campus, one of the first things that you notice is um, the new buildings and the outstanding facilities. And Purdue has continued to pursue excellence in those areas. And so, you know, now we've opened up um, the new ABE building, Ag and Bi Biological Engineering building, the new Animal Science building, uh, the Phenotyping Lab. Um, you know, clearly those. Um, you didn't ask, but I'm going to share with you anyway because I think it's really important. Um, one of the things that hasn't changed is the phenomenal people uh, and the leadership in the College of Agriculture. And again, that was one of the things that, that definitely drew me back. Certainly not, not everybody that was here when I was here before, but um, a lot of the same people, a lot of new people, but the, the, the leadership and the culture in the, in the college um, is, is still phenomenal and top notch. Excellent, well that's good to hear for not only students leaving but oncoming students in the future. So when we talk about the College of Agri Agriculture, where do you see it heading in the next 
year, 10 years, or what steps do you see us taking moving forward? I see the college continuing to be an innovative leader in all of our, our science and economic areas, all of the areas that we train our students and that we do research in the, in the future. Um, we have very motivated, creative, and intelligent individuals in the college uh, across our faculty and staff. So I, can, I, I see us continuing to push in all of those areas, the plant sciences, the, the production, um, the food sciences area, just pretty much pretty much everything. I also see us continuing to um, become more diverse and, and look for ways to um, diversify our college uh, within our people, within how we approach and, and train, train our students and, and in the educational approaches that we use. You know, I think we've, we've learned a lot from 2020 and I think, you know, I, I don't think that we're going to go back to exactly how we were prior to 2020. I think there's been a number of innovative educational and research approaches that we'll be able to continue as, as we move forward. So I'm glad you brought up diversity and that kind of leads me into my next question. So what are some ways that both Purdue and the whole agriculture community in general can improve that diversity in both educational practices um, and things along that nature? So I think it, it starts with people and it starts with us and it starts with the actions that we pursue. And here in the College of Agriculture, I know you know this, we value diversity in, in everything that we do from our, from our people to the educational experiences um, that, that everyone has. So, you know, how can we continue to pursue that diversity? I'm gonna start, start again with, with our actions um, and, and talking about diversity. Um, recruiting a diverse group of students and employees. Um, I think the agriculture community can help us as well by hiring and recruiting in, into um, their businesses, um, diver diversity in, in the individuals that they hire. They, they can help support diversity through um, coming back and, and, and providing programming and assisting us with um, talking about the importance of diversity to their building to, to to their businesses I think you know they they can also they and we can support diversity um, and, and move us forward in that area with with scholarships and funding to, to support our initiatives you know our College of AG strategic plan uh, one of one of our um, one of our goals is to pursue diversity ac across the board with the college, and um, so we're 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 going to be pursuing that. Awesome, thank you. So, kind of for our final question here, and it's a question that we've asked all of our presidential dialogue speakers up to this point, and it's a broad question, and you can open it in any or answer it in any way you would like. So, in general, agriculture has advanced significantly over the past ten years. I'm sure you know that. In your area of expertise, so you can hit the, the uh, academic route or you can hit the ag econ route, whichever one you prefer, um, how can we continue to innovate to overcome our emerging, emerging challenges that we face? So you mentioned my background is in, in ag econ. You know, I think as we continue to innovate, looking for ways to use data and use data in our decision making, and, and not at just in ag econ, across all of our areas of agriculture. So having, having relevant and important data to help make those decisions, um, I, I see that as a critical area for us to continue to pursue um, and, and to innovate in those areas and training our students, continuing to challenge and train our students in um, the, the analysis and the understanding of, of data. It's, you know, we can have data, but if we don't understand how to analyze it and use it to make decisions, it's not of much value, right? So I think that that's one of the most critical areas and, and that reaches across all of our disciplines within the College of Agriculture. Well, Dr. Wilson, I uh, thank you for your time today and uh, thank you for your outstanding answers and your uh, willingness to join us. And um, we look forward to having you here at Purdue for a long time and are excited for the future. Thank you very much, Bennett. Again, very happy to be here and wish Ag Week uh, an excellent week. Thank you so much for tuning into our podcast today. And thank you to all of our sponsors for making Ag Week 2021 possible. Make sure to check out other episodes of our podcast posted throughout the week.